Hi kids, in this video we will solve numericals from upthrusting fluid, Archimedes principle and flotation. This is exercise 5b from Consigns Physics class 9. I have already explained part b. You can click on the i button and get the link. Let us start with numericals. Exercise 5b, Consigns Physics. The first one, the density of copper is 8.83 gram per centimeter cube. Express it in kg per meter cube. So density in gram per centimeter cube is given as 8.83 gram per centimeter cube. You need to convert it to kg per meter cube. Now we know from gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube. How do you do the change? By multiplying by 1000. Isn't it? So, density in kg per meter cube will be 8.83 multiplied by 1000. That's how much? 8830 kg per meter cube. Done. We just need to re remember this relation. From SI to CGS, when you are converting, you multiply by 1000. So, this was number one. Let us look at number two. We'll do it over here. The relative density, the relative density of mercury, Hg, mercury, is thirteen point six. State its density in CGS unit and SI unit. Now remember, just remember the relative density definition. Relative density is the ratio of density of the substance. In this case, mercury in CGS unit by density of water in CGS unit at 4 degree centigrade at 4 degree centigrade now relative density is given as 13.6 density of mercury in CGS unit suppose X density of water in CGS unit at 4 degree centigrade is 1 isn't it? So x is what? 13.6 into 1 is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube because density of water in CGS unit at 4 degrees centigrade is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Isn't it? So 13.6 multiplied by 1 gram per centimeter cube gives you 13.6 gram per centimeter cube. Now we know how to change just now we did the sum. How to change gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube? You multiply by 1000. So this is equal to, this is equal to, wait, yeah, I'll write density in kg per meter cube is 13.6 multiply by 1000. Yes or no? That's 1360. 0 kg per meter cube so density of mercury in CGS unit this is in CGS unit in CGS unit it will be 13.6 gram per centimeter cube and in SI unit it will be 13600 yeah kg per meter cube they have written as 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. You can write like this also. Done. Now look at number 3. We just need to remember this relation. Okay. Number 3. Number 3 let us see. The density of iron is 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. What is its relative density? Now, density of iron is given as 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. We need to find the relative density. Now, just remember, just now we did this sum, you know. Instead of CGS, I write SI unit. So, relative density will be density of iron in SI 
unit by density of water in SI unit at 4 degree centigrade. So relative density of iron will be relative density of iron in SI unit is 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube and density of water is 1000 1000 we can write 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube so this and this cancels out 7.8 no unit because relative density does not have a unit it is a pure number okay done now let us do the next one now let us see some number numerical number 4 the relative density of silver that is ag is 10.8 find its density so we need the density of silver okay same logic relative density is density of silver in si unit i'm finding in si unit okay by density of water in SI unit at 4 degrees centigrade. So relative density is 10.8 that is density of silver in SI unit. Now density of water in SI unit we know that's 1000 kg per meter cube. So this multiplies with this gives you 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube and that is density of silver isn't it yes they given this only 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube Chal, we'll do number 5 over here only just this relation one single relation you know calculate the mass of the body Calculate the mass of the body whose volume is 2 meter cube and whose relative density is 0 0.52. Now, we know density equals to mass by volume. So, mass equals to density into volume. Yes or no? We have done this. So, from relative density, using this relation, I will get the density of that substance density of the body okay let us use this so relative density is equal to the density of the body by density of water at 4 degree centigrade in SI unit I'm talking about is 1000 kg per meter cube density of the body so what will be the density of the body density will be 0 0.52 multiplied by 1000 kg per meter cube which is 520 kg per meter cube now mass is equal to density multiplied by volume that is 520 multiplied by 2 that's 1040 kg isn't it just multiply density and volume you'll get the mass using this relation yeah, it's 1040 kg. Now let us look at the next one, number 6. Now look at number 6. Calculate the mass of the air in a room of dimension of dimension 4.5 meter multiplied by 3.5 meter multiplied by 2.5 meter. If the density of the air at NTP is 1.3 kg per meter cube so density of the air is given as 1.3 kg per meter cube now look carefully the air is inside the room so the volume of the room and the volume of the air will be same so what is the volume of air volume of air is 4.5 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 2.5 meter cube. Am I correct or not? Yes. Now you have density, you have volume. 
so we know the relation density equals to mass by volume which means mass equals to density multiplied by volume they need the mass only so density is how much 1.3 volume is how much 4.5 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 2.5 this much kg so simply multiply it and write the answer not so tough okay the volume of the room becomes the volume of the air okay and density was given so mass is what density multiplied by volume they given as 51.19 kg yeah 51.19 not 19 after decimal it is 51.19 we see okay so 51.19 kg is your answer chal we'll do the next one number 7 number 7 we'll see just look over here a piece of stone of mass 113 g sinks to the bottom in water contained in a measuring cylinder and water level in the cylinder rises from 30 ml to 40 ml which means initial volume was 30 ml when you put when the, the stone sinks then the final volume becomes 40 ml okay calculate rd of the stone rd of the stone the first thing the change in volume over here increase in volume the increase in volume is how much 40 minus 30 that's 10 ml and that is only the volume of the stone because due to the stone what happened the volume the level of the water rises so volume of stone is 10 ml which is equal to 10 cm cube done now first find density density is what density is mass by volume that is 130 by 10 that's 11.3 g per cm cube now remember relative density relative density is density of stone stone in cgs unit by density of water in cg s unit so rd will be what density of stone in cgs unit is 11.3 and density of water in cgs unit is 1 so that's 11.3 and relative density does, does not have a unit okay it was easy the change in volume the increase in volume becomes the volume of the stone so once you have volume and mass find density once you have density find the relative density same logic okay now let us look at number 8 now look at number 8 a body of volume 100 cm cube weighs 1 kgf in air so weight is 1 kgf in air okay this is given to us find its weight in water they want weight in water and the relative density relative density of that body okay now let us see first of all we find the relative density so this was first part we find the relative density first because we have volume we have weight weight matlab we can get the mass we can get the density we can get the relative density step by step so first of all weight can i write 1000 g force because 1 kg is 1000 gf which means mass is Thousand gram, yes or no? So you have the mass, you have volume. So density is mass by volume. So density is mass by volume. This is gram per centimeter cube, CGS unit. So density is ten gram per centimeter cube. So what is relative density? Relative density is density of the substance you know that is 
in CGS unit 10 by density of water in CGS unit at 4 degree that's 1 so this is 10 so relative density of the substance is of the body is 10 unit no there will be no unit it's a pure number okay it's a ratio 10 now this first part now we will do now we have done when while I was explaining the part B I gave you this relation that relative density of the body is equal to weight in air by loss of weight in liquid into relative density of liquid this relation I told you okay we have done this relation in the previous part so over here the liquid is water so relative density of the substance is how much 10 10 weight in air weight in air is 1000 gram force now loss of weight in liquid is weight in air minus w2 which is weight suppose this is w2 weight in water into relative density of water now relative density of water in cgs you know in cgs more relative density of water is one simple now solve this so thousand minus w2 equals to 100 and thousand minus 100 is 900 equals to w2 which means weight in water will be 900 gf that's your answer let me see yeah 900 gf and this is 10 remember relative density does not have a unit and relative density of liquid in this case it was water is 1 remember relative density is w1 w1 minus w2 into relative density of the liquid okay this is weight in the liquid weight in air this is relative density of the body done so in this video keep it till you in the next video we'll see the rest of the sum Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe and share.